Hello, today we're going to be changing the shadowing and highlights and the HDR toning. I've purposely picked this picture because it's fairly dull and doesn't have much colour and I'm going to change that. First of all, make sure it's not your background layer by double clicking on the padlock and clicking OK. Then you want to right click it and go to convert to smart object. If you don't do this, you won't be able to do it. It should have this image here in the corner of the picture. Then go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows and Highlights. Shadow slash Highlights. Then for this, you want to get roughly around these numbers, but it may change depending on which uh, what photograph you have. Works really well for landscapes. Anyway, you've got 15, 20, 70 roughly, doesn't have to be exact 50 65 about um, put about 50 here and make this about 40 and that's your shadows and highlights done pretty simple next you need to go to image adjustments HDR toning and you will need to flatten your image. So if you've got anything else on the on your layers, then it will remove that. So make sure you don't. Bring out up HDR toning. And for this, you might want to change this. You won't see any difference when you're changing this at the minute, but later you will. It will make change it for later. You want to change this to about 180. Next one, one 1.5. Gamma, you want it to be 0 0.7 about. The exposure, you want to be 0 0.5. Detail, you want to be about 70. Shadows, you want to be minus 30. Highlights you want to be minus 10. Vibrance you want to be about 40, we'll say. And saturation we want to be around 30. Now I think default this menu's gone, but you can just click this arrow here and to make it appear. You might want to change it because it. I mean, then you can change it. Okay, that's about right. Then click OK. Next, you may want to go to this black and white circle here and go to curves. This may bring a menu up here or a win new window. And just simply bring it around to fit your picture, whatever you want. I've probably overdone this picture a bit, so you might want to reduce it a bit for yours, but at least you can see what the whole idea of it is. I'm happy with that. And just to show you that um, how different it is from the original, I will import it in. And that's the big difference before and after how much difference that's made if you have ever done it you can if you revert this back to normal one you can um, fill, change the fill and reduce it to have something in between if you've overdone this one like that maybe a bit better than just it about I don't know it's an opinion thing but anyway Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.